What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the A-Body style to the Altera XR style of Arctic Cat. And we have a 2013 and a 2016. So we're gonna go through some specs and comparisons. What you'll find on the 2013, this is the A-Body style. And of course, on our Altera, that is the Altera slash XR style. Let's just go through some differences. So right up, you've got some good fenders on the 2013. They've got some good mud coverage on the 2013 for the fenders. You have a nice little bumper on the front there. The handlebar controls you will find are almost identical. We have two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive locked. And that gives us all four wheels of pulling power. You've got nice smooth throttle. You've got the lights and the positioning starter kill switch reverse override over there you also see a teardrop style gauge on this your shift lever over there on the left hand side with high neutral reverse and also a low gear the racks on the 2013 are very open design you can set stuff on the fender in between the rack and that will kind of hold it in there or you can use bungees strap stuff down but it's a very open design. Stuff's gonna fall through if you try to throw something too small in there, unless you're using the speed rack system or make something up homemade. We have full independent suspension, front and rear on both of these ATVs. On all these full-size Articats, you will find a two inch receiver on the back. You'll notice much larger CV boot guards on the A-body style ATVs over the Alteras, which only have it in the front and only protecting the outer CV. On the back, you don't really have much protection. The exhaust is routed out the left side of the A-body style and is out the right side on the Alteras. This just worked out better for when they updated the design. You'll have full skid plates underneath on both of these models. You have low and high beams on the A-body style as well as on the Altera. You'll only have one bulb on the Altera which gives you both options. On the front and rear of the Altera, we also have those driving light with that LED light bar. You'll find two tail lights on the Altera over just one on the A-body style. I think that gives it a lot better look. The footwells you will notice are much larger on the Altera. They have room for even two passengers on there. A-body style is a lot smaller. The suspension geometry is changed on the Altera model. It is giving you a more plush ride. That is a more vertical suspension you'll find on the Altera. And I find that works a whole lot better and is more comfortable to ride than the A-body style suspension. Same within the rear, the suspension geometry is changed a little bit and it's giving it a more comfortable ride, a more plush ride. We also have a sway bar here on the back of the Altera. Let me know in the comments below which one of these ATVs you would rather ride. Up under the seat on the 2013, we have our fuses down here. And you also have your diagnostic plug, your battery right there. You've got your starter solenoid all right there. Easy to access. The air box is actually up underneath the utility box or glove box. And you will have to pull the glove box out to get to it. Over here on the Altera, we have the battery and the air box right here fully accessible. We don't have to open up a glove box or anything like that, so it's real easy to get to, a lot more easy to maintain. On the back of the Altera, you will find a handy glove box for tow ropes and stuff. The four-wheel drive systems are essentially the same on both of these models. If you got a newer Altera, they did take out the locking differential in the front. Both of these ATVs are winch ready, so you can just run out and grab an ATV winch and pop it right in. We have steel wheels here on the A-body style, and we have aluminum on the Altera. On the Altera, you will find composite racks, and a lot of people at first were a little skeptical of these. They're gonna break, they're gonna be brittle in the cold, but these have held up really well over the last few years. I haven't broken any of them on both ATVs. They've got a little bit of a rubber coating on parts of them, which helps from stuff slipping around. They're a little more closed design, so you can set stuff on and just bungee it down and it's not gonna move around as much. If you have like smaller things to put on your rack, you can just put them right on top. I think it's a lot better than the open rack design, although I did get used to using that open rack design over the last few years. 
I have come to like these composite racks a little bit better just because of that surface area you have to place stuff on and then just find the shift lever on the Altera over on the left side. We also have a park option on these models and the gauge up in the front is not on the handlebars anymore so it is right straight in front of you and easy to read. On the A body style you're going to find the gas tank on the rear right side. Easy to get to and access and on the Altera we're on the rear left side. Also easy to access and for any spillage they've got a nice angled fender but really easy to access right there. On the A body style we have these two side panels that give you access to the engine underneath. To get down there you will just remove the seat and those just pop in. They've got some rubber clips that hold them in and that gives you great access to your engine. On the Altera it's a little more involved but we have much more access space once you pull off this side panel. You will pull the seat off and then just a bolt or two and these side panels will remove. There is a small access panel on the bottom for checking your oil but then also that full side panel can come off in between the front and rear fender and that gives you a large access space for getting into your engine and doing any maintenance work. So it's really a lot easier on the Alteras to just maintain and work on them if you need to. So that is a plus. All right guys, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below for more. We're gonna have more videos on the channel comparing these two. So be sure to follow along and I will see you guys in the next video.